never seen anything quite like this. Where's the Breaking Bad balloon? It hit this tree and, it, and this guy said there's a big ball of fire. The yeah, there were two, two or three people running to help. Noticed a balloon that looked like it was in distress coming down. Some people were running. Then this guy from the power company says this is the first time that they've had an accident. I'm Tom. And I'm Cherie. And this is enjoythejourney.life. on exit 234 toward New Mexico 556 West. You gotta get up early in the morning to get to the balloon fiesta. In Albuquerque, New Mexico, wow, the traffic. Holy cow. I got some good advice to go early. And the launch is at 7 a.m. Staying a little north of Santa Fe, so it's a little bit of a drive to be in standstill traffic. Perfect. It's a crazy operation going on here to handle, I don't know, thousands and thousands of people through here. I feel like cattle. You up here, way up in the air. I imagine that's just the start. <laughs> I can't believe how many people are here. It's crazy.
taking to get hundreds of balloons in the air, but it's pretty cool. And there are actually RV spaces as part of the balloon uh, festival, but they fill up really quickly and they're expensive. And some of them have hookups, uh, maybe water and electric, and a lot of it's dry camping. And a lot of the RV parks around here, they double their rates for uh, the balloon fiesta. I guess it's the, when they're gonna make their cash. But the cool thing about it, a little tip, is that they do sometimes have cancellations and I actually found a spot that was close here, $75 a night, four miles from here, if we wanted to pay $75 a night, which we didn't, so we stayed a little farther north and uh, Roadrunner RV Park, uh, just north of Santa Fe, it was about an hour and 10 minute drive to get here, $31.50 per night, and that's with the Good Sam discount. That's also with a military discount and some other discounts. So you can get here. It's uh, $15 to park and $10 for a ticket. So $25 just for me to get in here today, but oh my gosh, <laughs> so worth it. <laughs> if I could just capture everything in one shot. You get to get real up close and personal with the operators, the balloons, you know, touch them if you want to. Uh, so it's super cool. Yeah, and where's the Breaking Bad balloon? That's got to be here. in the 50s right now and the wind is really calm right now they've had some ascensions this week that were canceled because of the wind I had some family members that uh, got here and we're all excited for the launch but then they're inflating all the balloons and all of a sudden they started deflating because they canceled the ascension that day a real bummer and I am, yeah, super happy that I planned this day to catch all these balloons up there. And there's still hundreds on the ground still. Can someone give me a ride? So if you're gonna plan to do this, you gotta get up early or you gotta book really early so you can get a closer spot. But the traffic, wow, I haven't been in traffic like that in a long time. Reminds me like why I don't want to be in a big city. How many people does it take to hold down a board? Quite a few. Roughly, give or take eight tons of mass. Okay. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Never, ever, ever. It will run you over. I bet so. Good day for flying though, right? It is a you want to go through the Indians. <laughs>
seem to be staying pretty low and all going that direction. So they have about 700 balloons that include specialty balloons. Like that one right there, we have emoticons or emojis now, the winky face balloon up there. <laughs> they say they can launch all of these balloons in about an hour. Still looking for the Yoda and Darth Vader balloon. Haven't found that one yet. shots of the, some of the balloons and of course the area around the launch is all restricted however uh, the landing areas uh, which are scattered all over the place seem to be fair game it's like balloons dropping all around right here north of where they launched so I'm just gonna race over here find a, a park or something that I can launch the drone in here a uh, balloon was landing actually that one right there 
he had part of a tree branch stuck on there. So I picked this spot to, you know, fly the drone very carefully, catch some balloons landing around here. And I happened to see the one over here with a tree branch on it having a hard time. And I guess this is where it landed right over here or it had an impact. It hit this tree and, it, and this guy said there's a big ball of fire. So we got power crews out here, we got emergency vehicles. Okay, so there so it, it did take out the power then? Yeah, it took the power off. Well we had a, a recluser set on one shot so that if the balloon does hit it, it knocks it off right away and nobody gets hurt. Really? Okay. Then this guy from the power company says this is the first time that they've had an accident or he's heard of one which seems pretty amazing given that the size of this festival and you know that they do it every year and it's hundreds and hundreds of balloons Well, yesterday happened to be one of the best balloon fiesta days we have seen this year, but it was not the case for two pilots with some rough landings. Action 7 News reporter Brandon Evans shows us what happened and if anyone was hurt. Noticed a balloon that looked like it was in distress coming down. Some people were running to help. Tom Kennemore says he was getting drone video at Rotary Park in Bernalillo when he noticed something was wrong. I pulled out my iPhone and started recording and I saw this branch hanging off of it. PNM officials confirmed the balloon did make contact with a tree and at some point power lines were damaged. The incident did result in a power outage in the area um, affecting around a little over 1300 customers. PNM officials say they were able to restore power in about an hour. Despite what witnesses describe as a large branch hanging off the basket of that balloon, the pilot was able to bring the balloon down here at Rotary Park without injuring himself or others. Though rare, power crews say they do a number of things to keep crews ready, like having field coordinators at pilot briefings during balloon fiesta. Despite seeing the near disaster firsthand, Kennemore says it hasn't scared him away from going back up in a balloon. It doesn't deter me. I, I think it uh, would, would be thrilling to actually do it again. Like uh, I'll be here on a stick for breakfast this morning. <laughs> You'll look at me, okay, and act like the camera's not there, just like we're having a conversation. It's not live, so if you mess up, you can start up. It's 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 the spectacle, man. I, it's yeah. just weird to see 500 balloons all launch at one time. It, you know? it is. It just it, it blows your mind. Yeah. And all the characters. Yeah. Darth yeah. Vader, yeah. I was Yoda. right there by Yoda and Darth Vader. That, that was my. Uh, <laughs> I was like, inflatable rose. Where we go? Okay. <laughs> right. Wrap around your leg and take you up with it. <laughs> right. <laughs> the main camera battery ran out, so I pulled out the spare, and the spare was dead. But I got most of the festival back out to the adventure car here. And I'd probably call it a day, I don't know, it's like 8.30 in the morning, but call it a good start to the day. You got to come to Albuquerque and check this out. Add it to your bucket list for sure. So long from the International Balloon Festival in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, just look at the clouds over here on the mountain. It's pretty awesome sunrise all those mountains over there well thank you again so much for watching our channel we really appreciate you guys and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already yeah ring that little bell that way you'll be notified when we release a brand new video <laughs> bye guys yeah take care